Alright, so this is part two of how to use Transcriber at the UC Davis Sav Lab. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the previous uh, part, we showed you how to create speaker, and I created Researcher 1. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to show you how to create a second speaker. So you just click on the line to which you want to assign a speaker. Mm -hmm. So I click, I have that line highlighted, and now I'm going to do Control T. Control T, okay. Control T, and, oh, and this pops up again. And this, uh, the same dialog box pops up again, and you want to say create speaker. Uh huh. And uh, the way I assign the participant is participant one, and again, it's going to be all lowercase, no spacing. So we have that, and now I hit OK, and there I have my two speakers, and I mean. It, you can keep on adding new speakers the same way, clicking on uh, Control T and then uh, create new speaker. Mm -hmm. But in my file, I only have two speakers, so this is all I need. But um, to go back and forth, what I do is, um, so for this line, it's the same um, researcher one again. So what I do is hit Control T. Okay. Control, Control T, T oh, and okay. I can choose from the two speakers that I've created. Um, and I can uh, choose which one I want to assign that line to. So I chose researcher one mm -hmm. and hit OK. And that's, oh, okay. there you have. So you now this used to say, what did it used to say? No speaker. No speaker. And now it says researcher one. Okay. And um, you can keep on adding lines. Oh, so you hit return to move to the next line, right? Mm -hmm. But how do you make it? Oh, so now can you show how when you click on each line different audio segments show up uh-huh so you're gonna click what on the you um when different lines show up or well no, no it look like click on hello my name is you just basically um click on that and now look it's right at the very beginning mm -hmm. of the tape so so and then click on participant one wait 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 wait, 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 wait. so go back to hello my name is mm -hmm. so now you're gonna click on that next line mm -hmm. but I moved down okay now ready click Oh, and see yeah. the tape just jumped. Yeah. The tape had just jumped yeah. to where, you know, the new speaker started. Okay. okay. The words that you type in correspond to the segment, so it's uh, automatically going to take you to the segment that um, you typed in the text for. Right. And then so you'll see down here, mm -hmm. uh, it's all laid out. So you can even click on Researcher 1, or you can click on mm -hmm. these different regions mm -hmm. and go to... See, and now that region is highlighted. Mm-hmm. And click on yeah. Oop. Yeah. Uh, what that means oh, it's oh, the it's whole a long, thing. Oh, the whole yeah. thing goes. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I inter interrupted you. Okay. And um, while you're um, transcribing your file, there will be times when you want to go back and listen to the same thing again and again. And the way you do that is, um, while it's playing, you can pause it and then kind of drag it over the area that you want to um, hear again. Okay. So you. Um, you left click and you drag the cursor okay. and it's going to highlight and then you hit tab okay and what you'll see is that it's going to finish that segment and then restart it you see it oh. went back and then how do you make it play again you hit tab 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 is your pause and play button okay. right so when you're button. transcribing you want to hear the same little 2 seconds over and over again to figure out what they said and let your hands take the time they need to type what they said. So sometimes you might hear something, repeat something five times. Before right, right, right. And you'll even notice that it's, okay, well, so how do you associate a specific segment with, you know, you know, let's say speaker, researcher one is talking from here to there. Mm -hmm. And so how do you make that be aligned correctly and have it happen up here in the right way? Well, um, what I do is I listen and then I type. So basically as it's playing, I'm going to type and then wherever it stops, I'm going to change the speaker and it automatically um, creates a segment here. Can you show doing that? Does that answer your question? So sure as it's playing, if, the, if your audio is not playing and you hit play, that error box will sh pop up. Okay, so as it's playing, I'm going to write something, whatever the speaker is saying. Okay. And I'm going to hit pause. 
And how did you hit pause? The tab. Tab. Okay, tab so the head stops moving. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So in other words, they stop speaking right there, and mm -hmm. so you hit pause. You hit pause, and then you can assign a speaker by Control T again, and I choose my speaker, which is going to be participant one here. Mm -hmm. And now, um, if you click. It, the better way to do it is click on the segment that's at the bottom that shows you where um, which part of this, um, the audio file corresponds to the text. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, but now, now what if I want to go back to the previous segment and change the boundaries a little bit? Change the boundaries? Yeah. So like this guy, mm -hmm. or go to the two previous. Like, yeah, like that. Oh. How are the words? So you clicked on that, and mm -hmm. so where uh, where's that? Well, that's down here. Mm -hmm. So how do you say, oh, you know what, I cut it off um, too soon. Too, yeah, too soon. How do you move that? Okay, um, well, what you can do is you s type in the missing text, and it's automatically going to um, cor um, get adjusted to the audio file, I believe. Well, I mean, your boundary here doesn't move. Because, you see, the thing is, you're not the one creating those boundaries. You only type in the text, and it knows where that text is coming from. Well, but, but I mean, I bet you can drag, don't you ever drag this? Don't you ever move that? It doesn't work that way. Um, I could have sworn you could drag it. Uh, if you want to change, because otherwise you have to get it right exactly the, at the first time. You have to get the audio segmentation exactly right the first time, right? Oh. So, I think what you do is um, click, click on that and then go here. Uh, hmm. Wait, I thought it was... Oops. Wow. Well, that's... Oh God, I could have sworn there's a way to change these boundaries. But what I'm saying is, um, you just type in the text and it automatically creates that boundary. There's no manual way to create this boundary. Hmm. You can just go back and um, add it to the text. Hmm. Okay. Uh, segmentation... Insert. Do you ever use these things? Oh, move breakpoint. I haven't had to. Just click this, the the segment boundary with the central button, or control control click with the left, and drag the new position. Oh, okay, right. So control. Can you hit the control key? So she's holding control. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Let, let go. Let go. And then okay. Now hit control. So you got mm -hmm. control clicked, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna see if I can. Whoop. Uh oh. So hit, sorry, um, hit it again, and then, hmm, so, so uh, let go, and then, oh boy, um, well, anyway, so I thought there was a way to change the audio boundaries, we'll have to dig more to figure out how to do that, um, so why don't we stop now, because we're at eight minutes, okay. and then we'll continue the rest in a little bit. Okay, and you always want to make sure that you save your work, and the way you do that is by clicking on File, mm -hmm. Save As, and choose the folder where you, where you want to save your file. In my case, I want to save it in my version control. In audio, right? In the audio. Audio, audio. That's right. And I hit Open, and Save. Okay. And it's saved. Okay. Okay. And now I can just exit the transcriber. Mm -hmm. And again, I want to go to version control mm -hmm. on my desktop and right click on audio. Okay. Or whichever um, folder you have your files in. And you want to submit your work by doing SVN commit. Okay. And here um, you can, there's a message box where you can write in your comments right, anything right about the files yeah, that you want to. Type, type something in there. This is a comment. Too. Yeah. Anything that you want to tell your supervisor about the files that you worked on. Uh -huh. And, um, and, and 
click on that. And you yeah. check the files that you want to submit. Mm -hmm. I checked this file that I worked on. Yeah. And I don't know why I did that. Okay. <laughs> and then hit OK. Hit OK. Yeah. And then type in your username, which we won't do today. Which we won't yeah. do today. And that's how you submit your work. And okay. that's all. Great. So is are we done? We're done. Great. Well, thank you very much. I hope this is helpful. Talk to you later.